breathing. I found the victim officers. Give me a moment to examine her. Aren't you that famous detective? Dr. Richter, the mayor sent me to help you. I've examined all of the previous crime scenes. I've been given some time to examine the victim, but I'd appreciate seeing your deductive skills in action. I'll assist you. I agree, this was a vicious attack. The last crime scene had similar clues. Claw-like scratches and huge paw prints and the victim's handprints. Does this one have similar clues? Judging by the mess, the actress struggled fiercely. She broke free, threw things, grabbed scissors for protection. She even ripped some fabric from her attacker's coat. But the attacker was much stronger. The incredible force with which these scratches, wounds, and paw prints were made lead me to believe her attacker was not human. Could it really be a werewolf? Thankfully, the victim is still with us. Let's wake her up and see what she remembers. Good, detective. Now it's my job to take care for this poor Fraulein. If you need my help, come to my office any time. Since he didn't kill the victim, he's likely looking for another. Unfortunately for us, that's easy to do in the Oktoberfest crowds. victim claimed she saw a werewolf, but she could be in shock. At the same time, the clues proved this attacker was tall and very strong. Could the sharp claws be tools shaped to look like claws? Comparing that stranger I saw and the victim's words, I surmise he is a well-built man about six feet tall, wearing a wide-brimmed hat and a brown leather cloak.
Excuse me, sir. Oh! That's him! Werewolf! Get him! Get him! Don't let him Get escape! Him. Get him! Get him. Get him.